Hello everyone, welcome again and this is the second tutorial over the Java Web Application Development Series. So yesterday I have told you like how are the basic what are the basic requirements to start a development with Java. So we have seen like how to install Eclipse and MySQL. So I hope you have set up these things that like you have that MySQL uh, STS tool at your machine and the MySQL is installed in your machine so now these things are set up in your machine then we can start the development uh, from the scratch so before directly dive into the id let's discuss some bit about the technologies that we are going to use during this uh, project development so uh, the first thing is html jsp and css this will be we are going to use for the front end part it means whatever the design and we are going to perform the html css and jsp to manage the request from the server side to handle the request and response we are going to use the servlets and to manage the backend obviously we are using to mysql to deploy the application we are using to tomcat so uh, what is an html so you can see uh, you know already this is the uh, GUI design part so whatever the element you're going to see in the page like any heading any button any drop down box or you can say any input field these are uh, designed or you can say created by the HTML things so what about the background things like uh, the designing things or makeover things like for example if you want to make over any button I want to put some beautiful color and if I, I, I want to add some shadow I want to set a size of that particular image so here the role will come with CSS so those though so that the CSS will come to make over that particular element so whatever element you are going to design in the HTML that HTML is that CSS is going to uh, make over that particular element now let's come to the javascript so what is the javascript is doing here some element uh, some operations that you can also perform in the javascript like you can add a validation part at the front end yeah, you can use like for example i want to add a uh, i want to add a calendar to select the date so there we, i need a javascript and we'll see some in detail like what kind of things we can perform in the javascript uh, when we start the work we already done with CSS and the servlets. Okay, so what are the servlets and how we are going to use the servlets? So servlet is a server side programming which is used to manage the request and response. So as we are using the MBC architecture, it means the uh, view part is going to send a request to the controller. It means if we write we for example uh, just take an example of login. So if user going to enter username password and hit the login button then the request will go to servlet so that this servlet will handle this request that request and generate the response accordingly and we'll see these things in detail as an upcoming videos so this is just introduction video about the technologies that we are going to use and the mysql is a database management rdbms you can say relational database management system and that we are going to use so our mysql by default is running on 3306 port and the username is root and the password will be root so this is the workbench that we are going to use <coughs> so server uh, so to compile the server side application or server side program we must need a server to deploy the application so we are using the server tomcat 8.5 to deploy this uh, application in your localhost next thing uh, mbc what is a model view controller so we are using uh, the approach uh, or to manage the resources mbc mbc it means like to manage the things properly just the things uh, like mbc is just the uh, things that where we are going to manage the things properly like view part controller part and model part so what is the view part in this project and controller part and the, the, the model part so if i talk about the html jsp and css will be your view part servlet and jsp will be work as a uh, controller so servlet will always be controller but jsp can be uh, sometime view and sometime 
controller because in JSP this is Java server page so we can write the HTML code as well as Java code there and the model part will contain all the transaction details related to the MySQL so the process will be like view part is going to send a request to controller then controller communicate with the model model will uh, send a response to controller so this controller will check the response and send to the view part so for example take an example of login application in the view part user can see a two input field and a button login user insert some values in the input field and going to hit that login button that request will goes to the controller it means to the server server uh, server get that data and send to the model model will fire a query and check this particular user is available or not in the database and then it will generate a response then response will get to the controller again and the response will send to the view so whatever the response is you if user will be invalid then it will show in the front end user is login id and password is invalid and if user is logged in successfully then it will uh, redirect to the particular page to the welcome view so we are using a maven approach so you can see in the image the maven article maven project configuration will be looked like this and here uh, you can see this is your controller package this is your model package and this is your web app is your view part so we'll implement that complete uh, things in upcoming videos and let's talk a little bit about the maven <clears throat> so maven is a beautiful configuration tool and it's really useful like uh, you can manage the dependency so for example i'm going to use mysql thing servlets thing so uh, i need that apis to uh, write or use that classes so maven make my job easy and maven provide me just some line of code that i can put in my pom.xml and it will automatically add that particular uh, that particular api in my code so for example if i'm gonna use mysql thing so mysql i just need to add a mysql dependency it will add the library accordingly so i don't need to worry about to manage the dependencies because we are using maven so maven is really helpful also it helps to manage the dependency or the independent uh, system independent like for example i need to use mysql and i download the zar file from the internet and use in my code in future i want to move my system, my project in one system to another system one machine to another system then i have to check uh, then i have to move that particular zar file as well but in if we are going to use maven then we don't need to worry about maven will automatically download that dependency according to the version on that particular machine so it's really cool so thank you so much and in the next video uh, we'll start going to we are going to start the development and uh, i will provide the link in the description so you can follow this link and read about the technology and all the things that we are going to use you can prefer the open prefer some tutorials on over the google also so know about in the detail uh, in detail about this technologies thank you